Hi guys, I noticed this water spot in my yard uh, while I was mowing my lawn and I immediately knew that it was going to be the water line, the main water line going from the street meter to the house. The reason I knew that is because looking at the meter here, it was right in line to the house, uh, the outside faucet of the house. And if you're not sure about where your line is, you can call your utility company. They'll come out and flag that for you. So I needed to turn the water off going to the house. I used uh, this uh, meter shut off key here. If you don't have one of those, you can use a crescent wrench with a screwdriver through the end of the wrench. And there's a look at my meter. I needed to find the shutoff valve. I thought it was going to be on the house side here. I couldn't find it there. So I did some digging. Had to dig down about two inches and I finally found it on the street side. It's that little oblong knob that you see there. Yours may look a little different. And so I put the key on it and just uh, gave it a quarter of a turn. And that cut off the water going to my house. When I started digging, I just dug straight down from where the spot was at. It's a little careful digging here. I wanted to try to save some of this grass so I could transplant it back when I filled the hole in. I didn't have to dig very far. I dug about 18 inches down and immediately saw some white, so I knew that was the water line. So I just uh, carefully try to expose the, uh, the pipe. And with a little more digging, I uh, got a good look at the pipe here, cleaned it up, and then turned the water back on. You can see the water line now. You can see where it's leaking. What you see here is a compression coupling, and that was replaced about 15 years ago. You can see it leaking out of the net there, leaking quite a bit. So I turned the water back off so I could make the repair. Had to kind of clean up or dig around the coupling, around the pipe as well could not dig on the top there. There's a brick or a rock there. I was hoping to uh, be able to make the repair without having to remove that rock. Now the best way to repair this would be to remove that old compression coupling and just measure and cut a new piece of PVC pipe. Use these slip couplings to cement the new piece of pipe in place. Here's a look at the primer and cement. To cement each end to the existing pipe. I decided to go ahead and fix the compression coupling so I've got a couple of pipe ridges in place. Hoping this repair will last another 15 years. I had to reposition the pipe wrench a few times. Finally, I got it locked on there really well. I was able to tighten it all the way. I had to be careful though. I didn't want to tighten it too tight because that can also cause it to leak.
and decided to tighten the other side as well. Once everything looked good, I went inside the house, turned all the faucets on as well as the faucets on the outside to let any air escape from the lines, turned the water back on from the meter to the house, and here's a look what my meter looks like with uh, all the water running. Now with the main back on, I uh, checked the repair to make sure that it wasn't leaking. It all looked to be pretty good here. Couldn't find any water leaking at all, so I was happy about that. With the faucets in the house now turned off, check the meter one final time. The red gauge there was stable now and that little white triangle on top of the red gauge was not moving. Uh, if there's a leak somewhere that little triangle will be slowly moving around. It's kind of an indicator to let you know there's a leak. I uh, checked the repair one final time. Everything looked good and so decided to go ahead and fill it in. That's it guys. Thanks for watching. Hope this has been helpful. Till next time. Take care.